Hello friends, my name is Amit. Welcome to NDT and Quality YouTube channel. So friends, in today's video we are going to see plate lamination. So in ultrasonic testing you do UT, so I have this plate at that time. I will tell you how to find lamination defects in it in this video. I have this V2 block. With this we will check calibration etc. And in the complete setup, I have this machine, we have Einstein 2 TFT model. And this is the probe. We are using our TR Pro. We will use this 10D A4 Mega HCTR Pro. Okay. And this is actually the second part of our video series. In the first part of this, I had told that there are two techniques to check plate lamination. One is standard technique and the other is multiple echo technique. Okay? So you generally use standard technique at that time if your job is of heavy thickness. But the multiple echo technique can be used at the same time if the thickness of your job is 10 millimeters or less. Okay? So I will show you both the techniques here, how you have to do testing in both. We will also see how to select the range etc. Okay? So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues. You can also take membership of our channel by using the join feature. Okay? I have covered the complete syllabus of many level 2 etc. Okay? Now here we will first calibrate the machine. So you should know the complete procedure of machine calibration. I will use oil here in the cup plant and see where the echo is visible in it. Okay. So the first thing is that you have to see in the machine that if you are using TR probe, then dual should be here. Meaning that you have to keep the setting of TR prop here. Apart from this I will also check. Your thickness is 0 degrees, there is no problem with that right now, but still I will make it 10 millimeters here. because we are going to check the lamination in this plate. Its thickness is 10 millimeters. Okay, our angle is zero. Okay. And this mode here should be dual because this is our TR probe. Okay, now we have to set the first echo to 12.5 millimeters. Okay, so you have to keep checking the depth here. Okay? It should be 12.5 millimeters. Okay? So I have set this to 12.5 millimeters. Okay, so this machine of yours has been calibrated. Right? So now we will cross check how the echoes are found in this plate. So here you have to remember how you have to select the range. Whatever your plate is, right, I am showing you the standard technique from that. What we do in standard technique is that whatever your plate is, okay, we keep it double thickness. It means that you should see the echo of two backs minimum. So the thickness of this plate here is 10 millimeters. Okay? So we generally keep double thickness so that you get two back walls. In standard technique, we keep two back walls. Okay? So 10 millimeters is the thickness of the job. So in this case, we can keep its range here around 20 or 25. Right? So I keep 25 millimeters here only. I have kept 25 millimeters as the range of your machine in it. Right? You should see two back walls in standard technique. Okay? So let's see. First let's see the back wall etc. And we will also see how the indication will look to you. Here we will get the indication of lamination in it. Okay? Ah, uh, we will see its indication only. We will not measure it here. Okay? This has to be remembered. Generally, what code or standard do you use for measurement etc.? What is your procedure? 
Is it saw 578 or saw 435? You check all this according to that. Okay. So here we will only see what the echo pattern etc is like. Okay, look here, we are getting the back wall. Its depth is around 10.6. Okay, you can see this throughout, you will get the back wall like this. Okay, so this is how you have to check this through plate. Now suppose you get any indication in this, that is, if you get an indication of lamination, then how will you get it? Look, here there are two back walls, okay? This is the first one and this is the second one. Okay? So gradually as you keep scanning in this, if you get any indication of lamination, then how will you get it? Look. Okay, you can see this. Here you can see the indication of lamination. Its depth is around 6 millimeters. Okay. So here you should note one more thing that this indication is almost matching with the back wall. Right? That means it is getting a little difficult to separate here. Okay? So in this technique, this standard technique which we use, what happens in it is that whatever is the indication of the back wall and the indication of lamination, they match together. Okay, here its depth is 6 millimeters. But suppose if your lamination is around 8 millimeters or 9 millimeters. Okay, then it will exactly match with it. Okay, so this is the problem. So this technique, this standard technique, you will not be able to use it in such a specimen with less thickness. Okay, so for this you have to use another technique which I told you in the previous video, that is multiple back echo technique. Okay, so what do you have to do in this? The range has to be kept 10 to 15 times or 20 times more. The thickness of your job, you have to keep a minimum range of 10 times. So, look here, first its thickness is 10 millimeters. So I will take a range of 200 here. Okay, I took a range of 20 times here. Now if you see, you will get to see a lot of back echo. When you place the probe in a non-laminated area. See, you get to see a lot of back echo. Right? Okay, so in this, you can change the gain etc according to your requirement. Meaning, you can change dB etc whatever. Okay, in this, you see the pattern. This pattern is moving forward from here in this way. Okay? And almost here this point means if you see the division in the screen then it is 70-80 where sorry 30-40 division is there. Okay? Your pattern is getting lost there. Means almost till here you can see this pattern. This is non-laminated area means there is no lamination here. Okay, you can see. This is how you can scan. Okay? If you scan and move ahead like this, then this pattern will remain same till you do not find lamination. You can see this. This is how you will find the pattern. Right? Now suppose that lamination is found at some place. Okay, there is a lamination defect. So, see how the pattern will change in this. You will see. This is your original pattern. As you find lamination, see how the pattern will change. See this, your pattern has changed immediately. Okay? And here you can see DK DK etc. Okay? From here, like this, it became a DK. Almost at 50, your entire pattern became a DK. Right? This is the 50th division. Your pattern there became a DK. Right? So, here you have got a lamination defect. You can assume this look further and i will go further this is happening a dk did you see okay now your original echo has come okay you can also see the pattern of the echo right the pattern of the echo is uniform here the entire echo whereas where you will find the lamination this pattern is not uniform okay you can see that it is not a uniform pattern this echo is joined with each other from below so if the pattern of the echo changes or there is a dk then in that case, you can assume that you have got lamination here. There is no lamination here and there is lamination here. Right? So if the echo pattern changes, if the DK pattern changes, then you can easily say that you are getting lamination here. What can you do later? You can find its depth etc by reducing the range etc. 
and finally whatever standard you use for measurement etc. I have already made a detailed video of 578,435 OK 578. I had also made another video of lamination. There are two videos, actually that too, in that how do you have to take this measurement and how to do marking, recording. I had made that original video according to PCN. When you do PCN level 2, then how do you have to do practical etc in it, I had made a video according to that. So you can see that also. In that, I had used this plate for taking measurements etc okay? So in this way you can measure lamination etc okay? You can generally use multiple echo technique whenever you have a pipe or plate whose thickness is less than 10 millimeters. Okay? Otherwise, you can use standard technique in heavy thickness, right? In this, you can use both probes, TR probe and normal probe. There is no problem in that. So I hope you understood this video. If you have any doubt in this, you can ask me in the comment box. Okay, thank you, Jay.